We heard the story of a woman uh, from a rural community who had to walk about 40 minutes to get to the road to take a bus to the nearest healthcare center. She was very pregnant and went into labor, so she started to walk. It began pouring, and she could no longer make it on the road, so she stopped and gave birth in the middle of the road in the rain, and luckily the child survived and there was no problems. Uh, there could have been infection, there could have been a number of complications, um, but it astounds me that she had to go through that. We spoke to a woman uh, in an interview, she's a community leader in a community uh, about two hours outside of Managua, and she told us that she had given birth to 11 children, all of whom survived, in her own house, alone, holding onto a rope, hanging down from the ceiling, into basically a bucket and tarp contraption. It is a miracle that they are all alive today. I cannot fathom the fact that there were no complications involved in that. There are women from the countryside here who go to have their pap smears taken, which is a service offered by the government for free. They find out that they have cervical cancer and they're told, okay, you need to go to get chemotherapy treatments at a hospital in Managua. These women who are generally between 25 and 30 years of age, they cannot even make the trip to Managua. They don't have the money for the bus. They don't have the ability to pay for a hostel pay for their food while they're down there so they just die and they know they're gonna die and there's nothing they can do about it and that breaks my heart and astounds me because it is completely preventable disease and nobody should die because they cannot access healthcare services that exist within their own country.